It may be a small, simple, low profile shop. Yeah, but this business in Salt Lake has some serious roots that date back about Oh, 160 years. Tonight we take you inside this one-of-a-kind business here in Utah. Dan Ruscone covering the story. What exactly do they make here? They make hats. And you may say, well, big deal. Who cares? Well, it's a huge deal when you're making thousands of handmade custom hats, especially when you're using equipment that dates back to the 1800s. Here along Redwood Road and 2300 South, there's a business that's roots date back to Brigham Young days. That business I build hats. is all about hats. Hundreds of shapes and sizes of custom made hats. <laughs> the owner and operator of this shop. Oh, I'm no artist. Artists paint pictures. 79 year old JW. If it hadn't been for about a three year period when it was locked up in bankruptcy, it would be the oldest operating business in the state of Utah. According to JW, it all started in 1853 in Salt Lake when Brigham Young helped Charles Tatton start a hat business. He was a hat wearer, but he was an entrepreneur. He was in, he wanted to see it succeed. The business would survive until the 1980s when it went bankrupt. JW then came along and got it out of bankruptcy. Is some of this equipment that we have here possibly used to make a Brigham Young hat? Possibly. How have the hats changed since 1850s and out? very little. This shop is 100% completely custom, meaning you choose a style hat you want. Maybe it's a good old-fashioned cowboy hat, a Clint Eastwood top hat, slick looking fedora, a Breaking Bad pork pie hat, a straw hat, or my personal favorite, this Black Beauty. You name it, he can make it. Strictly custom, it's made for individual order by hand. The custom hat makers put a lot more effort, heart, and soul into it. Here's a very quick look at how it's done. It starts with the block. Tie it to the block so it don't slip and slide around. It's ironing all the wrinkles out and forming it to the block. Ironing it out flat. Years of experience, years. You take a rounding jack, which is a brim cutter, and you cut it. You sew in all the linings, and you have yourself a custom hat. So who is a better hat maker out there than you? Nobody. <laughs> a small little unassuming shop along Redwood Road with one captivating story. So how long does he want to keep doing this? As long as they'll let me. <laughs> so JW says they sell about 1,500 to 2,000 hats a year to people from all over the world. They range anywhere from $200 to $2,500, just depends what you're looking for. JW only has one full-time employee, so he pretty much spends his life there Monday through Saturday. For more information on this story, you can go to our website, KUTV.com, click on Inside the Story. So he obviously has a reputation if he's selling hats from all over the world. He is, he says a lot of times him? people come in, especially when there's big events here in town that bring in people, and they just kind of hear about him through other people and that kind of thing. And he gets hooked up, it's so incredible. it's pretty amazing he what he's able to do. The old-fashioned way. The old-fashioned way.